Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the unscripted posing app, a must-have for photographers. So one second, let me just get my phone. Okay guys, so I got my phone out, so I'm going to show you a screen grab of how I use the app so you guys can follow along and learn firsthand how I use it. But first, let's play that intro. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go through my apps. I'm going to click on Unscripted. I'm going to open it up. Then I'm going to click on Browse to so browse their poses and prompts that they have. And I'm going to go through a couple of them for you guys. Choose a category. Okay, so it has individuals slash seniors, couples slash engagements, LGBTQI plus couples, indoor couples, weddings, families, maternity, newborn, boudoir, people and pets, seasonal slash creative. So these are all the categories that they have. And I'm just going to click on the first one, individual slash seniors, and go through a couple of the prompts and poses for you guys. So you guys can see what they're like and what they have to choose from. So first we have female prompts and poses once this loads. So we have a scenic stroll, a shoulder smirk. Scroll down a little bit. A shoulder sniff and a summer breeze. So I am going to go uh, scroll back up and click on the first one which is um, a scenic stroll. And I'm gonna read the uh, prompt for you under that one. So direction, it says, stroll towards me slowly with your hand in your pocket. Prompt suggestion, look at me, now look at the rock, now back to me, now at the ground, now the sky, now me. Confused yet? So that's one. And you don't have to say exactly what they say for the prompt suggestion, hence why it's considered a suggestion. You can make it your own and tweak it and make it however you want to say it. This is just a guide, basically. So you can do the same pose, but diff do maybe a different prompt to get them just a little bit more relaxed behind the camera to help them into the different poses you want them to do. So we're going to move on to the next one. A shoulder smirk. Direction, stand with your side to me. Prompt suggestion, turn around quickly and give me a ton of sass. This one, I really love how she's looking back at the camera like that. So I'm actually going to heart this one. Uh, so once I heart it, that saves into my favorite um, prompts and poses. So I can go back to that if I want to use it for a shoot. And I really like that pose. So I'm going to heart that. Um, now I'm going to click on a shoulder sniff. Direction. Stand slightly to the side facing me. Prompt suggestion. Give your shoulder a little sniff. What does it smell like? <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Uh, I like this pose, that simple kind of looking down towards your shoulder. Um, it's very nice and subtle and cute. So I'm going to heart that one too as one of my favorites so I can go back to that pose as well. And the last one, a summer breeze. Direction. Sit with your legs slightly spread, leaning back and resting into one arm. Prompt suggestion, look at a spot on the ground. Now look at me only with your eyes. So you're basically asking them to smize, which is another great one that I like. And I think it would be really great if you're shooting a model, specifically, especially. And if you're not, it's still a great pose. I'm gonna heart that one too, so I can go back to it. It's gonna be in my favorites or uh, liked, most liked poses. So now we're moving on to male poses which has more great poses here for us, for the males. Let's see, a pocket walk, a shoe fun. Let's click on the first one, a pocket walk. Direction, put your hands in your pockets and walk towards me slowly. Prompt suggestion, look off into the distance like you're searching for something. This is such a simple pose, but so yet so classy for males. When they walk with their hands in their pockets, it's just very flattering on them. I really like that, so I'm gonna heart that too. It's one of my favorites if I'm ever photographing a male. And I'm going to move on to the next one. A shoe fun. Direction. Run your hand through your hair while looking off to the side. 
prompt suggestion. Pretend you're way too cool for school and give me a bit of a smirk. This is great, I think, for a senior pose, um, for a senior photo session. I think it'll be a great one as well. So I'm going to heart that one because I like it. I'm going to put on my favorites. Now we're moving on to Ace. Find out what this one's about. I'm going to click into it. It says direction. Sit casually with a leg popped out in front of you. Gently play with your hair or glasses. Prompt suggestion. Pretend you're stuck to the ground with glue on your butt. <laughs> the prompt is kind of funny for that one, but it's not a bad photo. I like it. Um, it's kind of different. It's not bad. Um, I don't know if I'm going to favorite this one, but I still like it. It's not bad. So I'm going to move on to our last male pose. Once I get out of here. Busy walk. See what this one's about. Direction. Walk towards me and start to take stuff out of your pockets. Prompt suggestion. Okay, you're in a music walk towards me with real swag. So I'm guessing like you could say music video or something like that. And kind of have a feel for it so they get what you want them to do. It's not a bad pose. It's pretty nice. I like the feel to it. It's not bad. So that's it for our male poses. So I'm going to be getting out of this one too. And seeing what else we have in this app. So I'm going to scroll back up and get out of here and move on to our next section. So I'm going to click on the second category, couples slash engagements, and see what kind of prompts they have here for us in poses. And they have several, it looks like. They have standing, walking, sitting, and also laying down. So they have several under each of these types of poses, which is great. I see a dead weight, a goodbye hug. And if I scroll down, a simple dip, opposite look. Opposite look I've seen a lot, especially with uh, wedding photography. I see that as a very popular pose these days. I've seen that several times on Instagram. It's a very simple yet cute pose. And I'm going to go through a couple of these, actually. Um, I'm going to go to walking first to see what they have. A <laughs> booty grab, that's funny. Hand in her pocket. A wild piggyback, that's cute, piggyback ride. Um, distant stroll, heavy ride. These are such cute couple poses, I'm like obsessed right now. And sitting, a pretzel, a toothy kiss, scrolling down, ear nibbles, hand kiss. These are so intimate and just cute, I just love these so far. And then the laying down pose, a roll fest. Anyone for a dip? If I scroll down a little bit, um, there's a couple more poses here under the laying. Keep me afloat. Airplane. Oh my gosh, I can already tell airplane is, is awesome. <laughs> Keep me afloat looks a little bit more artistic, which I like as well. So I'm going to click on some of these. I'm going to click on airplane first. Direction. Remember when you were a kid? Let's do the old airplane trick. Prompt suggestion. Forget about the camera and give it your best go. Have fun. I love that prompt because telling them to forget about the camera, they're just going to be indulging into themselves and just having a great time in the moment. And that's what you want to capture that in the moment in the camera. Um, direction. Keep me afloat. Lay down in the water in opposite directions and look straight up at me. Prompt suggestion. Think serious Vogue face, guys. I love that. I would just have their eyes open as well for another shot. But I really love how artistic this looks and just so beautifully how this couple is photographed here. It's just so nice. I'm going to heart that as well. Save these last bottom ones to my favorites for my favorite poses for couples. So you can see these two are saved in my favorites when I do that. So now I'm going to go back to the category section. I'm going to kind of skip around and I'm not going to go through all of these. I'm going to click on seasonal slash creative. And this is kind of self-explanatory what this section is about. 
So I am actually going to click on fall because I love that season and I think they have a lot of cute poses for the fall section. So I'm gonna go through these. Let's see, apple picking, corn confetti. If I scroll down, cuddle and close, fall foliage magic. Some of the poses they have here. I'm gonna click on the bottom one. Fall foliage mag magic direction. Place engagement ring on a, I guess that's supposed to say sturdy and colorful leaf. Place ring on stem and hold out. Couple embrace, kiss, or look at each, uh, look at one another while ring on leaf is focal point. Prompt suggestion. Don't drop the ring. Obviously. <laughs> I love how the way this looks, how the ring and the leaf is in focus. So it kind of tells a story that the couple is getting engaged in the fall time and they're and you can see them in the background but they're slightly blurred out which is really nice so now we're going to look at cuddle and close direction close any spaces between you nice and tight prompt suggestion who feels a bit chilly so that's great for a family fall shoot now we're going to look at the apple picking direction get cozy together and find the perfect apple to pick together Prompt suggestion. Pick the highest apple you can find and help each other pick it off the tree. Granted, some of these are better for if you live up north. Um, I don't think we really have apples, trees that grow here in Florida. But if you live up north and you have apple picking, go for it. Let's see confetti. Direction. Sit together and throw some corn into the air. Prompt suggestion. Nuzzle in close as the corn falls around you. That's really cute. These are some of my favorites for the fall section. And let me see, I'm gonna go to people and pets next. We have a lift of love, a man's best friend. Let's look at the lift of love. Direction, hold her up like she's a baby and try to kiss her nose. Prompt suggestion, whistle the Mission Impossible theme tune. That's of course, if your client can, of course, whistle. <laughs> if they can't, don't tell them that. Um, a man's best friend. Direction. Get on your knees and lightly smush your faces together and look at my lens. Prompt suggestion. How did you decide on your pet's name? I love this one. It's very, um, very close-knit and I like that. Now this one is called B1. Direction. Hold under your horse's neck. Close your eyes and breathe in that horsey smell. Prompt suggestion. Have client breathe out of their mouth and smirk. Very nice. And best friends. Direction. Owner to keep eye in contact with lens at all times. Have treat or dog toy above camera to catch the dog's eyes. Prompt suggestion. Whistle a theme tune from your fave TV show. Very nice photo of your pet and owner. Like these pet Portraits with their owners, very nice. They even have couples and families too as well for the pet photos. Best kind of sandwich. Direction, pup in the middle, prompt suggestion. Now say cheese, pup. So the pup is the center of attention in this one. Oh, that's kind of ironic because the next one is center of attention. <laughs> Direction. Sit down with the dog in the middle. Wrap an arm around him and kiss above his head. Prompt suggestion. Let's see if we can make Pooch jealous. <laughs> that's cute too. Let's see what else we have under this. If I scroll down a little bit. Dominoes. I like this. Direction, position her between his legs and the dog on her lap. Prompt suggestion, hug each other real tight. So I like this domino effect here, it's very cute. And last but not least, for the couple section under pets, family meeting. Direction, get your couple, <clears throat> excuse me, sat down on the floor with their pets and get pups in close. Keep giving fuss and don't put off if the dogs keep moving. Just keep shooting. Prompt suggestion. Okay, if we if we okay, if you were calling a family meeting and you had to tell your pup something, what would it be? How they behave themselves this week. So basically like a candid shot of them interacting with their pets. 
So it's kind of like a free for all, <clears throat> which I like, candid shots. And families is the next section. We have couch potatoes, which we're gonna look at first, direction. Everyone on the couch next to each other, including furry family members, prompt suggestion, who needs the most attention in this family? Extra love, direction, have puppy in the middle and everyone surround puppy. Prompt suggestion, okay, how much love can we give one little pup? That's super cute. Hug your pup. Direction, get down on your knees and hug your puppy. Prompt suggestion, cuddle him close. This is so adorable with little kids. Um, and the last one for this section is lead me. Direction, walk side by side with horses on the outside and walk away from me slowly and calmly. Prompt suggestion, tell your daughter a story about you and your first pony. Very nice. Moving on, I'm going to click on newborn now. So they have individual families, motherhood, and that other one is also a fatherhood that's kind of cut off. They have a bed of clouds, a big stretch, a bird eyes view, a bit wrapped up right now. So we're going to click on a bed of clouds. It says direction. Put baby in the middle of the bed and shoot straight down at her to make her look tiny on the bed. Prompt suggestion. She looks like she's just floating. I love this one. Shooting down at the baby always makes them look small, which they already are, but it's just very nice. Um, a big stretch. Direction. Lay baby down on a flat surface and stand above. Prompt suggestion. Undress baby slowly to wake her up. I love this candid, basically caught of the baby stretching. It's very nice. I like when you catch the baby stretching and also yawning in a shot. Both very great candidates of a newborn if you're going to photograph a newborn. Now we're going to go to a bird's eye view. Direction. Sit together on the couch. Lay baby in your lap. Prompt suggestion. How was motherhood slash fatherhood shaped you? Very nice. And a bit wrapped up now. Direction. Wrap baby up loosely and arrange the bedding around him. Prompt suggestion. If I could trade places with him right now, I would. Look how cozy he is. <laughs> Nothing like a swaddled baby. Very cute. So I am going to be getting out of this one now and seeing what else we have in this section for newborns. I'm going to go to the family section. A brother, a double hold. We're gonna look at a brother first. Direction, get the older sibling to lay alongside the newborn and gently through, and gently, though their nose, <laughs> touch their nose on the baby. There's a few typos in this, sorry guys. Prompt suggestion, can you touch your new baby with your nose? This is so intimate, having the sibling poles with their uh, new either little brother or sister. Very cute. Let's see, a double hold. Direction, hold baby between you as if she or he were laying on her back. Prompt addition, what has surprised you most about being a new parent? I love this because this involves both parents in one shot, which you definitely want to do as well as having separate shots with each of them. A new family unit, direction. Mom hold baby and dad stand behind, embracing his new family and put his head over his shoulder. Uh, prompt suggestion, dad, what's been the most amazing thing about seeing your partner become a mother? That's beautiful as well. A real life doll, direction. Get older sister or brother to sit with baby on her lap and look down at her. Prompt suggestion. Wow, isn't she just the best doll ever? Super cute as well, involving the siblings with the newborn. Motherhood. One love, a natural. If I scroll down a bit, um, admire that baby and box fresh. So a lot of these are self-explanatory. I'm gonna look at this one at the bottom though. Box fresh. Direction, hold your new baby. Oops. 
Sorry, guys. I accidentally almost got out of there and went to Instagram. But it says, direction. Hold your new baby in your hands and lean in and breathe in that gorgeous new baby smell. Prompt suggestion. There's nothing like that fresh baby smell. And that is the truth. <laughs> so now we're going to go to a natural direction. Get mom to hold baby out in front of her with both hands and lift baby towards her face. Ask her to give baby's toes little kisses. Prompt suggestion. You go, mama. Look at what you made. Sorry, I got out of it too quick. And now we're going to go to fatherhood. A dad's promise. Direction. Get dad to lift baby up high on his chest so his chin can just about touch baby's ear. Prompt suggestion. Okay, you don't have to tell me, but whisper one thing you absolutely promise your baby. This is beautiful. Very beautiful for the father pose. Now we're going to go to a handful of cuddles. Direction. Get dad to hold baby high and close on his chest. Prompt suggestion. Do you still feel like you're going to trap her every time you hold her? I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And see, all about dad. Direction. Lay down and put baby on his or her tummy on your chest. Prompt suggestion. Tell me your favorite part of being a new parent. So this is called skin to skin, which is really great for the baby too. Baby in front. Direction. Get dad to hold up baby in front of his face. I'm sorry, in front of his chest facing outwards. Prompt suggestion, hold her up, hold her up in front of you. Like a football facing outward, but please don't throw her. <laughs> That's a silly prompt, but I like it. So that is it for fatherhood. Now we're going to look at Fresh 24 right in the hospital, just born, literally. We have a first glimpse, all hands on deck, all quiet, all together now. I've never really shot um, in the hospital like that, but if you are a photographer that does, there's those great poses. So I'm going to move on to maternity, actually. We have a Buddha baby, a gentle cradle, a gypsy mama, all hands on deck. And that's for individual maternity poses for just a mama. So I'm not going to read all these prompts, suggestions anymore, and directions. I'm just going to go through them a little bit. So that was a Buddha baby. This is a gentle cradle. I'm going to go through it a little bit quicker, only because it's going to be a super long video if I continue going through all of the prompts and directions. This is a gypsy mama. And we're going to go to the last one in this um, section. All hands on deck. I actually just used this one for my last maternity shoot, by the way. Um, I obviously didn't do it exactly like that. Um, I actually included their faces and I didn't do a close up of the belly like that, but I have all their hands like that on top of each other. So that's one I've actually used. And that's it for the individual maternity poses. So now there's couples and families. I'm gonna go to couples and just show you a little bit one plus two, one, two, three, glitter. If I scroll down a bit, we also have a little stroll and a million kisses. A little stroll is really nice. It's, it's, that's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm not going to read that one either. The name tells exactly what it is in itself. A million kisses. This one looks super cute and it looks like it's, it could even be a candid if if you just catch the right moment right on time like that's such a cute pose if you're having them pose but they might even do that naturally so either way i love that one so i hearted both of those and it looks like a one two three glitter this one's awesome this one's more like a pregnancy announcement which i kind of like i don't even see her bump in that one if she even has one yet so it's just super cute Maybe it's hidden by her jacket, actually. <laughs> so that's for the couples. And then there's families. I 
I'm actually going to get out of this section and go back to the categories. I'm going to click on families. Um, it says under five, over five, motherhood, fatherhood. So they have all from different numbers of families that you're going to be shooting from, into, um, like, uh, I guess, intermediate to extended and all of that in between. So they have three of us, seven in a bed. They have a lot to choose from. Motherhood, fatherhood, siblings, individual, and extended. So look, let's look at the first one. The three of us. That's obviously for a family of three. Super cute. We have um, seven in a bed. Obviously, if you have a larger family, then that's more of a lifestyle in home shoot if you do that kind of thing. That kind of family session, also very cute. Looks almost like a candid, too. We have a big airplane. This one's so adorable. I love this one. Especially if they have multiple kids. This is just great to get all of them in there without, you know, kind of scrunching everybody together and just taking a traditional family portrait. This is great just for one of those kind of shots. And a cozy corner. This is also super intimate, close-knit, and I just love this one, too. This can be done for a small or large family, I believe. It's just very cute. Then we have over five section. We have one group shot, a group hug. If I scroll, oh, actually, I'm gonna look at the group shot first. Direction. Um, I'm not gonna read the direction, sorry. I've got so used to doing that with the other ones though. So they're all close knit together, which I like. And it's it's a nice pose. There is kind of everybody in the shot, which I like. And it's it's, it's a great family shot. Um, we're going to look at a group hug once it loads. <laughs> Buffering. Okay, there we go. So everybody is kind of close in this shot too. We have mama with her kids. They're all kind of like hugging her, which I like. It's another great shot. So let's move on a little bit to the bottom. All about mom. This pose is great for the mom. It looks like everybody is kind of like clinging on to mom, which is very nice. There's a lot of feeling into these uh, family poses and prompts. It's a very nice shot. So I'm going to get out of here and go to the last one. All fun and games. This one <laughs> looks like fun too. I like how interactive it is for the children. Like giving them something to do and rather than just telling them to stand still is great. Encouraging them to move is actually better than telling them to stand still because kids don't like to stand still. That's boring anyway. And look at that awesome shot. So That's for the over five section. Now we have motherhood. Obviously all about the mom. I really love this one. It's just very nice. This is also a little bit more artistic and it's so beautiful how they're all kind of leaning in close to and close to the mother. Very nice. We have a dance with mommy. This is super cute. You can just feel the closeness um, of the mother with her child, that bond in that shot. It's very nice. And then the bottom one, a soft cloud. Another close-knit family portrait with mama and her children. And it's just super cute. How they're all snuggled together. And we are going to check out fatherhood. Can't forget about the dad. We have a group piggyback. We have airtime. Kids love that one. Um, if I scroll down a bit, we have a couple of more poses. All about daddy, daddy cuddles. So let's look at a group piggyback. This is also self-explanatory. I'm not going to read the direction or prompt. Kids love piggyback rides, so this is great. And it keeps dad busy for the shot as well. We got airtime, kids' favorites being tossed up in the air like that. You get great candids of the little kid or the baby. Their faces is just priceless. 
I love that shot. I'm going to heart these two as well. We have All About Daddy. So everyone's kind of just snuggled up to Daddy in this one. Just like the mom poses. But it's a little bit different. So yeah, that's really nice. And then we have, last but not least for Daddy, Daddy Cuddles. Basically just cuddling their baby or the child up close. So it's also a very nice shot. I like how the baby or the kid is wrapped up. Because if you're on the beach, it can be a little bit breezy. So that's nice. And siblings. A sister is a best friend for life. A twin thing. If you are photographing twins, all the flowers. And yeah, I'm not even going to read the bottom one. We have individual for those individual family poses. If um, the people or the clients you're shooting want that. Which sometimes you get that a lot with family shoots. So that's a great option. And then you have extended. I like the top one, the three generations. That one's great. You also have dance with me. Looks like grandma with the granddaughter. Deep stare. Looks like mom and daughter. And closer. I, I especially like the three, the three generation pose. Because having a shot with the three generations. That looks like grandpa, dad, and then the son. The son of the other dad. That That's all great to have in one shot. Very memorable. You also have closer. If you want to get everybody... Uh, close in that shot and it's um, you know extended family members whoops stupid notification sorry and you have a deep stare I love how intimate this is between mother and daughter very nice gonna heart that one and dance with me looks like grandma and granddaughter it also looks very cute a lot of these poses can be kind of like candids I noticed so now we're going to go to weddings one of my favorite categories in here to be honest I have a lot of great poses a forehead sniff hand hands under chin I'm gonna scroll down a bit I'm sorry actually I'm gonna go through the top walking sitting bride now I'm going to scroll down. One for me. And American Gothic. Ah, uh, these stupid notifications. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So, one for me. Very cute. I love the laughter and how he's holding her. It's so beautiful. Harding that one. We're going to go to the walking section. Run and bear hug. Spin her. This is super cute. Something about beach weddings, guys. It's just awesome. If you ever shot a beach wedding, so beautiful. Um, I just love this. Love this pose. I'm hearting that one as well. Spin her. That's very self-explanatory. I'm not even going to read this one either. Uh, I just love these, though. These wedding poses are awesome. I'm going to scroll down a bit. We have beachy walks, which is also self explanatory, but I like how she's looking back at the camera and the groom is kind of like facing forward. So that's a very nice shot as well. And this last one is very fun bump hips. So basically, like a hip bump. I love the those funny, whimsical kind of uh, wedding shots where the, the groom and the bride are just doing whatever. And that's a cute one. Sitting section, we have a little joke, chin lift, confetti, and cozy up. I love the chin lift. It's very, very romantic and intimate, which you definitely want for a wedding portrait. So this is beautiful. And I'm going to look at cozy up as well. Anything that's intimate and close knit like that for a wedding shot. This is great. You want to get that in for the weddings. And we're going to look at um, the bride section. Because obviously, it's her special day. We have reach up, use that veil, details, a look of joy. So we're going to look at a, a use that veil first. Obviously, you want to definitely get a veil shot for the wedding. Something about it is very um, beautiful. 
to get under the veil is definitely a must and incorporate it in your shots details is also important an important one because you want to have a detailed shot of her wedding dress because it's probably the most ex not only the most expensive dress she ever will buy but it's just very important for getting the that the kind of shot for the wedding and obviously you want to get a joyful shot of the bride on her most important day of her life so laughter candidates like this joy just utterly joy you want to have def definitely a ton of shots like that on her wedding day and you cannot forget about the groom we have a pocket walk which we've seen for the other male poses a little help blue steel and bouquet hold i've actually never tried that bottom one so it's a little bit different a little help you always want to get those getting ready shots on the big day and i like how it's shot underneath from down under a different angle and perspective of that shot you want to take interesting getting ready shots you don't want to get the same old same old shots that everybody gets you want to do something different and innovative and i like that shot a lot so i'm gonna heart that one we have a more basic shot blue steel just sitting on the steps with his hands um and fingers interlaced like that um i like that shot and she's looking straight at the camera not smiling or anything i mean you can have them smiling too if you want but it's a bit nice basic shot and this one bouquet hold i've never really had the groom hold the bouquet but if you want to do something different there you go something different so now we're going to go to groups we have ta-da one day all celebrate and become one so this is great for the bridal party and the bridesmaids, I love a great cel celebratory shot with everybody surrounding the bride and the groom and the bride and the groom in the middle and they're kissing or embracing. It's just a great shot. And what? I don't want to stop the broadcast. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> and so anyway, it's a wonderful shot. Definitely want to get shots like this on the wedding day. So we have become one. I really love this one as well because all the bridesmaids are kind of leaning in towards the bride. And it's just a great shot. It How you have everybody close together, kind of scrunched in, and everybody's like holding each other's arms. And it's just a great shot. So you got to get the bride and her girls. It's a must. Heart that one too. Let's look at one day. I love this one. You have the bridesmaids backs turned, but they're still in the shot, which is still, I still like that one a lot. And I'm going to look at, ta-da! I love how you have the bride and her bride tribe, and it's a nice, fun shot, and you definitely want to have these in your wedding portraits on the special day. So I'm actually going to get out of the categories and I'm going to click on the next section, my photo shoots. So it says upcoming photo shoots, completed photo shoots, and it says complete, I'm sorry, it says create new photo shoot. So I'm going to click on that. It has photo shoot details. You have prom, um, sorry, poses, prompts, questionnaire, contract, invoice, and checklist. And you can put the title, what kind of photo shoot it is, your client name, when, where, you get directions, Check golden hour times, notes, my goal for this session, contract signed, received deposit, received full payment. So it has a lot of stuff here that you can use. And I don't think some of this is not actually even available now. So see questionnaire coming soon. I click on contract coming soon. Invoice coming soon. And checklist coming soon so these are actually not available yet but they will be in the app and when they are that's going to be really really <clears throat> helpful and useful so now i'm going to click on camera settings guide it says use your lowest f stop available on your lens to create background blur as a rough guide to ensure all faces are in focus set your minimum f stop to 1.8 for one person 2.0 for two people 3.0 for three people and so on it says full sun, f stop 2.0, shutter 1,000, I'm sorry, 1 slash 2,000 and higher of a second, ISO 100, Kelvin 5,500. 
shade and natural indoor light if you're shooting in that kind of environment. F-stop should be set at 2.0, shutter 1, 350th of a second and higher, ISO 200 to 600, Kelvin 5000 to 7000, golden hour, my favorite time to shoot. F-stop 2.0, shutter 1, 250th of a second and higher, ISO 100, Kelvin 4000 to 7000, blue hour. F-stop 2.0, shutter 1, 250th of a second and higher, ISO 500 to 1500, Kelvin 5000 to 7000. Candlelight slash reception, F-stop should be set at 2.0, shutter 1000, I'm sorry, 1 to... 1 slash 200 of a second and higher, ISO 2000 to 3000, Kelvin 2000 to 4000. Dancing slash dragged shutter, I've never actually tried this before, but it looks really cool. F-stop should be set at 5.0 or to as high as 11, so you're going to have it within that um, range. And then a shutter, uh, 1 fifth of a second, ISO 100 to 800, and then Kelvin 4,000 to 5,000. It says flash, direct flash slash rear curtain sync. Tip, move your camera around creatively after clicking the shutter. So that's how you get that cool effect. So this is just camera setting guides if you need it or if you want to look at a little cheat sheet, if you're having to struggle with your camera settings or if you're a beginner or if you're not a beginner, you just need a little bit of a guide because you switch locations and... Yeah, so it's a little bit of help. So now I'm going to click on Sun Tracker, my favorite thing in this app, actually. It tells me the chance of rain, the temperature. It tells me when blue hour is, sunrise, golden hour for the morning and the evening. So it tells me sunrise, sunset, golden hour, blue hour. It's just really helpful. It tells me the exact time that is going to be happening. So I can time my shoot at the time that I want the best light and when that light is. Now I'm going to click on education. It says, welcome to the brand new education section. We're working on bringing you amazing educational guides, courses, and videos from inspirational photographers. Check back op- often as this section grows. So posing, it says, guide to using prompts with couples, and you can t- read that. It takes to an article uh, strictly about posing couples, and it goes really into detail, and, it, and just another helpful tool to help you posing uh, couples. I'm not obviously going to read all of this because <laughs> it will make it a super long video, but you can read this in your own time as you explore the app. This video is just to help you find out the basics of how to use this app, but you can do the rest of exploring yourself and find all the cool things that this app has to offer. So I'm going to get out of here and go back and see what else is here. After education, there's tools and resources. Must have tools and resources. We've curated a red hot list with the top tools and resources that we've personally used and tested. Many have offered the unscripted community exclusive discounts. Check back often because it's often updated. So that's editing, directories, software, presets, prints, albums, brand and design, gear, etc., etc. Also workshops. So I'm going to click on editing. Your photos perfected. Edited by artists. Get now. So it has um, different editing that you can use. Um... So there's that. There's workshops available and it lets you know when and where they are and for what, what type of photography. 2020 Bay Area Conference Evolve. I'm not going to read all of this, but you can just scroll down and check this out yourself and find out all the different workshops, nomadic workshops, uh, voyage workshops, LO photo or low photo. Not really sure how to say that. (laughs) And so, yeah. And get out of here too. Go to directories, wandering wedding. We guide couples with the inspiration and resources. So you can click on that and take you to their website. You can find out more information about what that is. Another resource is about for weddings. Cheap wedding dress options for elopements. Introducing all who wander boho wedding dresses. I'm going to scroll down. Five valuable tips for announcing your elopement, planning your elopement, creating, I'm sorry, stupid notification. 
Oh boy. Creating an elopement type elopement timeline. So this is more resources if you are an elopement photographer. I'm gonna go back now, get back into the app and get out of directories. There's also software, different software you can use for helping you with your um, shoots. It says plus pixel U, I believe, plus pick time, plus narrative. Scrolling down a little bit. Um, and then it has plus pixie set, which is what I use to send out my galleries to my clients. Actually, I love pixie set. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. Plus Sprout Studio, plus HoneyBook, JPEG Mini. We have CloudSpot. So these are all different um, tools you can use in sending out photos and they all have different prices. So depending on your price range. You also have presets. If you are all about that jazz and wanna use different presets for your photos, if you don't already have your own, they have presets you can try out and use. Nice earthy tones, beautiful. Liking these, how they look. Um, looks like you can have even a discount for these um, if you have unscripted app. <clears throat> so you can check these out on your own time and find out uh, if you wanna use these presets or not. And then you also have prints and albums if you offer that to your clients as well. If you offer prints or photo albums, this is different ones you can use. Milk books, kiss books, um, yeah, so artifact uprising so now i'm going to go to brand and design this is great if you need help with uh your business cards actually it has different um people you can use actually or companies not people uh, companies you can use to design your um, business cards so they can look very professional and nice so these are some more resources for that then you have gear and accessories <clears throat> for camera bags, you have Peter McKinnon slash Nomadic. For his camera bag, you can uh, check that out if you like. Um, also, online courses. Unraveled Academy. Creative Live. Um, scrolling down a bit, I think it says Udemy. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. The Fearless Photographer online course. Photobug. And I'm gonna scroll down a bit. And um, that says Photobug again. <laughs> so these are different um, courses, looks like film, that you can use if you are wanting to learn more about photography. Then you have guides and templates. This is great for wedding guides. It says Dirty Boots Wedding Guide just to guide you on uh, the process of the wedding day, how to go about it and to help you figure that out. And it has complete guide to camera settings by Don Charles, Lightroom Toolkit by Don Charles, The Pink Creative, Natural Posing Flow, Boudoir Posing by Jasmine Jade. So it has a lot of helpful resources here in this app. So this is it for the tools. And then join the community, it takes you straight to Facebook, and you can like them on Facebook as well.